Straight left hand was smacked on air right on the nose. Another left hand came from the angle to Donaire's side of the face. Glenn Donaire now reduced to being a boxer. He's not that. So this posture for him, not good. It will lead to more punishment. And Donaire is being chased around the ring here by Darchenian, just being backed up. Darchenian just measuring him out, and almost everything that he throws is landing. And you know, uh, Donaire is better at 108 pounds, and at this weight doesn't pack as much power as he might, and so some of these punches that are landing against Darchenian are not having a monstrous effect. He's got a younger brother, a 115-pound prospect, who won earlier tonight, Nonito uh, Donaire. So it's all in the family. Uh, sparred with him, and he posed as Darchinian against his older brother, Glenn. And here's Darchinian, really going away towards the end of the round. Non-stop barrage by Darchinian. This kid, this kid is really worried now. He's felt your power. He's not gonna fight you, Vic. Okay? Listen, Vic. He's only gonna. Listen. You can hold that hand up, but you can't make contact with him. All right? Oh, yeah. out, Thank you, sir. Yeah. Vic. Vic, we're here always. The first punch we're hitting him. It's the second and third punch we want to throw. Right? Vic, not one punch. Three and four punches. And Vic, he's, he knows you're gonna hit him to the head. Let's start down to the body move. Darchinian. You see his elbow. And he shakes it afterwards, landing those good straight left hands. And that one came back and nailed Donaire and got him in the uh, in the face. And uh, it, uh, it drew a complaint from Donaire. Darchinian's longtime assistant trainer, Billy Hussein, taking over for Jeff Fennick. You saw him in the corner. He's the brother of flyweight contender Hussein Hussein, stopped twice by Jorge Arce, the man Darchinian really wants but has just about given up on because he keeps avoiding him. He calls him Jorge Farce. Arce not a champion right now, up a weight class higher than him campaigning there. And many boxing fans believe that would be a wildly exciting fight. Darchinian feels he can go up a couple of weight classes. I'll tell you the fight I'd like to see him in. How about Rafael Marquez a couple of weight classes above? Wouldn't that be spectacularly exciting? And he's been sparring with guys two weight classes above him in anticipation of moving up, perhaps. But he really loves the belts. He wants to unify, if possible, but nobody is stepping up to take him on. Here's a straight left hand to the nose by Darchinian. And wax to the body of uh, Donaire. The right hand missed the hook. It's too looping. But Donaire couldn't take advantage. Straight left hand to the head by Darchinian. What many people uh, that step in the ring with Darchinian kind of underestimate is how quickly those punches can get there. He's not a plotting puncher at all. You know, he can throw very quickly with the jab and the straight left hand. That's why, even though he's repetitive with that combination, it gets in. And that straight left appears to be extremely heavy. I mean, it really has to take its toll. One after another after another. Donaire is not stepping his left enough to get out of the wheelhouse of that straight left hand. And what we haven't seen from Glenn Donaire that, we, that, that was obvious in other fights are these really good left hooks to the body and the head. Hasn't put himself in position to throw that punch. There's a hook, but from a very bad position for Donaire. Again, the Darchinian, not the most polished technically, but he throws almost every punch with conviction. Has such a rugged approach. You know, you mentioned earlier that he, he came into this fight. Jeff Fennick, the former champion, has been training him, and they parted ways. In kind of a strange way. All of a sudden, it just kind of happened. And, uh, and I don't think either party quite understood exactly why the breakup took place. But there is no let-up in Darchinian. He has picked up the beat and fought very well tonight. Well, I asked him about that. He said uh, probably because Hussein's been with him all the way anyway. So he's always been training him in the gym. Fennick would uh, come on, for the most part, during the yeah. fight. Yeah, but Fennec was with him since the 2000 Olympics. You know, Donaire got inside a moment ago and cranked up some really good left hooks, but 
then was pushed back and got nailed with big shots again. Darchinian has Donaire down. Continue? That did the D. Okay. Donaire says I'm all right, but it happened, fortunately for Donaire, way near the end of the round. Give it a Vaseline Ben. Seeing left hands get in for Darchinian, but after some good left hands had landed, it is a straight right, not a hook, really, more like a straight jab, but it was delivered with great power, and Glenn Donaire would go down from it. Just as he predicted, Al. Yeah, that's exactly right. He said, I'll do it with the right hand. Well, he did. Um, so Glenn Donaire now facing uh, a lot of issues in this fight. And you see the left hand, certainly Darchinian landing them, but it would be the right, ultimately, that would send Donaire down. That was a freight train right hand. A rock-solid right by Darchinian, putting Donaire down for the third time in his career, coming into round five now, and Darchinian goes right back at it, flicking the jab. <laughs> Everything scoring. Left hand. This is scheduled for 12 for the IBF Flyweight Championship. Darchinian's fifth title defense, 26-0 with 21 knockouts. 5-0 in world title fights. He won the belt with 11th round TKO of Irene Pacheco in 04. All four title defenses by TKO. The book on Darchinian, they say, try to back him up, back him up, but it doesn't seem to work. It's one of those easier said than done yes. things, and uh, that mirrors my score. I exactly have it a 40-35, as do the press row scoring folks. No surprise, Jeff Haney from the Las Vegas Sun, Karen Mulvaney from Reuters, and James Smitty Smith from In This Corner. Vic Darchinian. Born in Bonadzor, Armenia, the son of a gas station owner. Moved to Sydney, Australia, became an Australian citizen on the urging of three-time world champion Jeff Fennick. Donaire is in a very difficult spot now because he's reduced to trying to be a boxer puncher from the outside, not his stock in trade can't get inside because he gets hit with those big straight left hands every time he tries to pressure Darchinian. He is game. You say that about him. Right hand blocked by uh, Darchinian. Darchinian then follows with a left hand. Another big left. Boy, that had Donair almost doubled over. There was so much power behind it. He goes down to a knee, but it's not a knockdown, says Tony Weeks. Donaire, a slip. Donaire is trying to time that left hand by Darchinian and counter with his own right. He's tried several times, and it hasn't quite gotten it. Tony Weeks, who ref the first Casamayor Corrales fight. That was stopped after round six in favor of Casamayor on a TKO when the mouthpiece went through Corrales' lip. How many straight lefts has Victor Tunian landed in this fight? Astonishing. Body shot by Donaire. Unfazed, Darchini comes right back, rolling back. A flurry by Darchinian just before the bell. Yeah, hands out, Nick. Nice relax. Very good. Breathe in, breathe in. Take control, Victor. Wait, wait, Yuka, one second. Have a beautiful Vic. Breathe, give him, breathe, brother. Give him a couple of body shots. Just breathe, brother. Breathe. Control. Okay, Vic. We're going one out again. Just one punch, one punch. We got to, we're going to hurt the kid. We need more than one punch. 
Well, we hope you're enjoying our free preview weekend, and we remind you to call 1-888-SHOWTIME to continue with the great boxing, plus movies, original series, and special events. Only available here on Showtime.